Jesus Christ came to earth to fulfill God's plan for he I am so grateful that I was part of the Light the World initiative in 2019. Aside from singing the year's theme song, I also attended the Manila Temple Christmas Lighting Program together with friends from the Academe, Interfaith Community, Government Agencies, LGUs, NGOs, and the media. I also witnessed the launch of the Light the World Giving Machines. Did you know that in just 54 days, more than 800,000 pesos in donations were collected for the charity partners Caritas Manila, UNICEF Philippines, and Hero Foundation? Amazing, right? Too bad we couldn't do the same things last year because of the pandemic. For the first time, the Temple Lighting Program in 2020 was held virtually. The area presidency and their wives just held a countdown on the temple grounds together with hundreds of individuals and families on Zoom. But they played my performance of the song one by one, together with special messages from Mayor Joy Belmonte and Father Carlos Reyes. There was also a virtual interfaith Christmas concert participated in by artists representing religious organizations from Uni Harmony Partners Manila. Since we couldn't have the giving machines because of the pandemic, a virtual handover of donations was held with the area presidency together with Caritas Manila, UNICEF Philippines, and Hero Foundation. I did a little research and I found out that this is the sixth year that we are having the Light the World initiative. The church started it in 2016. Here in the Philippines, it was launched by the area presidency with a 25-day service challenge. A calendar was released with daily ideas on how we can follow the example of Jesus Christ and light the world by serving others. A special craft kit was given to primary children with cut-out ornaments. You write your service idea on the ornament and then hang it on your Christmas tree once you have done your act of service. The Light the World Challenge was still the same, to serve others in 25 ways over 25 days. During the Temple Lighting Program, members and friends from other faiths shared how they can light the world. Sharing the message, uh, generosity, faith, and belief in the Lord. Not judging others. Okay, serving others for you. Being kind to my mom. Many members responded with individual and family service projects. Some even served as entire congregation. In Cebu, there was even a Light the World Jeepney that spread the message of serving others as it traveled all over the city. In 2018, the Light the World theme was Give as He Gave. An opportunity to follow this was provided by the Light the World Giving Machines. The first in Asia, these special vending machines allow you to buy gifts for people in need with the help of Caritas Manila, UNICEF Philippines, and the Purple Centers Foundation. Another highlight of the 2018 celebration was the donation of almost 2,000 solar lamps to indigenous communities around the country. There was also a Light the World Christmas concert series featuring outstanding choirs who performed for three weekends. Hallelujah, 
one of my personal favorite is the Light the World train. An entire train was wrapped in bright red with the Light the World logo. Inside, there were posters and other reminders for the passengers to follow the Savior's example and help others by giving service. Wow, so many wonderful things have happened in the last five years of the Light the World campaign. This year, the theme is to light the world with love. As they say, you can serve without loving, but you can't love without serving. Although there are no giving machines and we can't all go to the Manila Temple for the lighting program, but we can still show our love to the people around us, both physically and virtually. This Christmas and always, Please remember to be kind to one another, be a friend, and serve others even in small and simple ways. Merry Christmas, everyone!